In a developing story, a shelter in Tulsa says they're seeing some of their highest daily numbers of people struggling with homelessness since before the pandemic. Now, this comes as the two remaining candidates in the Tulsa mayor's race say this is a top priority for them if they take office. Now, we told you at nine, frontrunners Karen Keith and Monroe Nichols have shared their plans to combat the issue in interviews with Fox 23. Fox 23's Devin Lyon heard from the Tulsa Day Center with what they're seeing and how you can help. He joins us live now. Yeah, homelessness is a current topic on everyone's mind who lives in Tulsa, especially after Election Day. At 9, I brought you both of the last two remaining mayoral candidates talking on this topic and how they plan to solve it. But as I heard from one of these shelters in Tulsa, the Tulsa Day Center, they told me that they're not surprised by this spike in homelessness numbers and they're asking the public for help almost daily now. Well, the the reasons are always, as, you know, people can be tired of saying this, but I'm going to say it anyhow. We still have a, we still have a major issue in Tulsa for uh, for for affordable housing. Mac Holtum is the CEO of the Tulsa Day Center. When I sat down with him for an interview, he shared with me his thoughts on homelessness in Tulsa and what needs need to be met. We're seeing more people coming in uh, during our uh, day shelter times. Uh, it's not a surprise to us. Uh, I mean, the, we we saw back in January when. The, the whole city, the continuum, uh, did a, a point in time count that we have to do for uh, for HUD. Uh, we saw about a 20, 23 percent increase in, of overall homelessness in Tulsa. So as the year goes on, we're, we're seeing more people, you know, accessing our services. The day center is just one of over 50 nonprofits in Tulsa that provide services to people struggling with homelessness. Holtum says that with the heat of August, they find several people just trying to cool off. But also the increase in home and rent prices have driven more people out of their homes and to places like the day center. Right now, I believe uh, I think we're averaging daily people coming in around anywhere from 200 to 250 people coming in daily. The current city administration and the two mayoral candidates recognize the size of the problem. I think it is the biggest individual challenge faced in Tulsa. It is my top priority. I asked Holtum how everyone could help. We're always in need of like new underwear, socks, those kind of things for for our for our people. Uh, the toiletry items are always good to have too. Uh, the small soaps, the shampoos, those kind of things are, are useful. We're in need of towels for our showers. We, we're in need of volunteers. Uh, we need folks to be able to come and to assist in our clothing room. We have an amazing clothing room uh, and people, it's open seven days a week, but as those donations come in, we need volunteers to come in and groups to come in and help us sort those, get them hung up and uh, so people can access that. And you can bring those donations to the day center. They do have signs directing you to a drop off section. They say they prefer if you do so throughout the day and to call their main line so someone can come out there and pick up those donations. That number's on your screen. It's 918 583 5588. And on that line, you can also ask about options about being a volunteer or bringing a volunteer group. Now, we will also have this contact information post on this story on fox23.com. Just search homelessness. Live in the newsroom, covering news that matters. Devin Lyon, Fox 23 News. You can also watch today's interviews with the Tulsa mayoral candidates on how they tackle homelessness on fox23.com. Just click on the You Decide 2024 tab.